Hi, actually in this video I will show you guys how to use the filters and sorting option. So actually we will start with this hypothetical data. So as you can see in this data we have about uh, 77 rows but before applying the filters I think it's always necessary to mm -hmm. Give a quick go through of your data because before applying the data, it's very essential to make sure that there is no blank rows, otherwise, filters will not work properly. So, as you can see in our data, we have filters, uh, if we have blank rows at row number 10 and row number 11. So, suppose if we don't uh, delete those rows, what will happen if we apply filter actually? What will happen is that suppose if we apply a filter, then Excel will think that, that there is a data table just from row number one to row number nine, and it will not consider the data below row number nine. So that's why it's very essential to delete those blank rows. So that's why before starting, I will delete those rows. So I will have deleted them. So now I, I go through my data. There is no blank rows. So now I can easily apply filters. So in order to apply a filter, it's, uh, and it's also necessary that you don't have any extra rows above the first uh, row. So I will go, I will select any cell in my row one, and then I will apply filters. So now we have the filters. So, and now once we have applied the filter, we can filter the data. So suppose if I only, so in my data, we have uh, uh, a variable named as foreign. And if we go, I think in foreign variable, we have two levels, domestic and foreign. So suppose if I just want to see the data with domestic making, so I will select A. So now if I go through, the data I will can only see the domestic observations in my data uh, so and the other thing is that whenever you apply a filter uh, and if you want to start with the new filters is always go to you place uh, your cursor anywhere in the row one and then just clear the filter or you can also click the filter and then re-click it to apply it back both by doing that, you will be removing the filter. The safe option is to apply the filters just again. So now I have shown you how you can uh, filter the observation by using the filter function Excel provided. But there's so many other things that you can also do with the filters is firstly, suppose if I go to a filter of a price, and then suppose if I want to uh, see the data between 3000 and 4000 price, so I can go to a number filter option, then I can go to between option, and then, then I can just simply write down here 3000 and 4000, and if there will be any observation with the price between 3000 and 4000, the Excel will show me as you can see now that now I have the observations in the Excel uh, between 3000 to 4000 and the good thing about applying the filter is as you can see when we on this left side uh, it's, it's not showing me many uh, observations which are not related to this filter so if you just copy those observations and based on some other sheet, it will only copy the observation of, the, of that filter. So, and so you can easily make different tables from those filters too. So again, I am removing that filter and applying back. So now another option is suppose if you have sent your data to uh, your supervisor and he have highlighted few of the observation maybe to make double check or maybe to 
see those observations make any sense or not so and and suppose if you just want to go through those observations which are highlighted again you can use that filter option to just to see those highlighted options uh, highlighted rows so suppose i can go and i will say highlight by color and now i have the uh, filter data based on uh, the highlighted rows of highlighted cells again in order to remove the filter i will go to data tab and then just remove that filter another thing that we can do with the filters is that uh, we can sort the data through our filter so suppose if i want to sort uh, the data based on the pricing so I can just go and can select sort smallest to the largest. Uh, so it will show us the data in a sorting order. You can also sort based on descending order. Uh, another thing that I didn't mention that once you open that filter, you can also manually select what you want to select. So suppose you can, if you don't want to see those prices with these prices you can manually go and uncheck and you can get the data accordingly and other thing uh, with the filters is that you can so suppose uh, currently i've just applied one sorting order suppose if you want to sort the data based on two variables so in that case it's better to use this sorting function within the data tab just click it and then first select you want suppose if i want to sort the data first based on foreign and and uh, and you want the order from uh, smallest to the largest and then here is an option add level just add level after foreign you can suppose you want to sort the data based on price and suppose I don't want to see the pricing sorting based on smallest to largest. I want to see from largest to smallest. So I will select that and then we'll apply it. Now you can see we have those, if we sort the foreign based on ascending. So we have D, which is domestic first, and foreign is the last, second one. And within that foreign, we have prices from largest to smallest. So this is all about uh, filtration. You can play around with more filters, but as I've said that whenever you start with the filters, make sure that your data is in a right shape. You don't have any blank rows. So this is all about the data and uh, about the filters. And